The Brazilian election this year has seen some stunning twists and turns, and that culminated on Sunday when the president, Dilma Rousseff, won the first round of voting with about 40% of the vote. In second place was Aécio Neves of the opposition PSDB party. But the big surprise, of course, was that Marina Silva, who'd been in second place up until very recently, came in third. This now pits the two main opposition parties against each other in what's become a remarkably traditional second round runoff, which will last for more or less the next month until the end of October. At stake in the election is the future of Brazil's economy, which has seen a remarkable and dramatic turnaround over the last four years. After bouncing back surprisingly well from the global financial and economic crisis, with growth of 7.5% in 2010, the economy has since slowed sharply. In fact, earlier this year it dipped briefly into recession. The Marina Silver effect has been one of the most surprising turns in this election. After the death of her running mate Eduardo Campos in mid-August, she took over the ticket as the presidential candidate and immediately won a major sympathy vote which pushed her right up into second place. At that point, Aécio Neves was seen as a rank outsider and many were saying he should probably even give up the race altogether. But it seems the Brazilians haven't quite bought into Marina's message and have decided that ultimately she's not the person they want to run the country. The big question on everyone's mind is what will Marina Silva do next? Will she throw her support behind the PT after a bruising election campaign? Or will she support the opposition candidate, Aécio Neves? That ultimately will likely decide which way this election goes.